Hey guys, this is Oz from Double Double Gaming. Today I'm going to be showing you guys Cyanogen Mod 10 Alpha 3 for the Droid X2 and how it runs. So, I have been using this for about two days now and it's been working pretty well. There's a few bugs, but everything seems to work pretty fine, so I'm going to unlock it now. So, notable, everything pretty much works for Jelly Bean. You get Google Now. Let's see if this will work. Sometimes Google Now does not work. Let's try it. Hello, Google Now. What is the weather like in Phoenix? So load up pretty well. What is the weather like in New York? So pr works pretty fast. Um, sometimes it does crash like it just did. But usually it works. So let's open up my app drawer and show you what you get. You get these cool clicking sounds whenever you open up stuff. So let's see what you get in here. This is pretty much everything is just stock jelly bean. You can hold down things to put widgets in. That's gonna make me put stuff in there I don't want to. So I'm gonna throw in something else. All right. So there you go. Everything works seamlessly. Let me delete that. Notification drawer is pretty much one of my favorite things. I'll show you guys really fast. Now that's working with widgets and stuff. Let's open up Play Music real fast. I notice this does speed up the phone a lot, and I have gotten a couple. I've gotten hours and hours more. It is still at full battery. I usually my phone would run out of battery within about three hours and it would be dead now I've been using it for about six hours using it and nothing's really happened it's still a full battery I haven't charged it today and it is almost two I've been using it since six so I'll just play some music and we'll see what happens in the notification drawer So cool thing is you get little widgets that pop up and you can swipe left to close it or you can hit the little X right here. So you get little widgets. Um, you can customize this bar up here to have shortcuts to turn stuff off. So you can turn on the flashlight, turn it off. Um, you can go direct to your settings from your notification bar. Everything works really well. This is running for uh, Android Jelly Bean 4.1.2 and it works really fast for some for some of you who use the Droid X2 you may have noticed that it loads it used to load up play music very 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 slowly and it would be almost unbearable to use it now let's see how fast it turns on it's already up see everything runs a lot faster the battery life has been fixed so I definitely recommend doing this it did take me about 13 hours to do it because I actually messed up the first time and it really sucked because I bricked it three times in one night but it was really worth it I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that it is in fact running Android Jelly Bean and not Cyanogen Mod 7 so let's go into about phone and I'll show you guys the version so you can, you can see it right there Android 4.1.2 this is in fact Jelly Bean everything works pretty good um, frame rate has been fixed it is very good on this phone now I am noticing a little bit of lag but it frame rate versus gingerbread is amazingly fixed it is very good so another thing that you do get with this is DSP manager which is beats audio so everything sounds so much better than before it is ridiculous 
but one thing is that is apparent is that most people are going to be really mad about is the camera. So let me load up the camera real fast. The camera it works fine. It takes pretty good. It takes really good pictures actually. I'll go ahead and open this up in the gallery. You can see pictures look re look actually absolutely amazing. If you can see that, I'm zoomed in all the way and I can still see it still looks freaking amazing. This camera is so much better just for the software. Pictures just look way better than before. I took a few pictures earlier of the tablet I did a review on and the colors and everything are just so good. I mean, I can see little nicks on the I can see nicks on the little on the plastic. The camera on this is that good and I'm zoomed in all the way. I can even zoom and I can see the little ridges in the plastic. It looks if you can see that it looks amazing. The camera on this has been dramatically improved. One thing that you do not have anymore though, let me go back real fast, is you cannot tap to focus. It is autofocus in the middle. So you cannot autofocus. And another thing people will not like is you might not like it, I don't know if you will. You still do have panorama, which is pretty cool. And it works fine. But recording video. Let me open it up. I was really hoping for the sake of actually me recording is that the camera before you could not focus when you were recording a video which really ruined it for me or else I would be recording with this thing right now. But now the you can't record anything. It doesn't work. It won't record video. It's broken in this version. And I don't think that he's going to be able to fix that for a while. So I'm just going to hope for the best. But everything else works perfectly. The phone is so much faster than before. Apps that you would usually take like two minutes to, to open. Now, let's see. This app texts me. This would take about two, a minute and a half for t to open. It took forever to open. Let's see how fast it takes. There you go. All right. So usually, after I had it running, it would take a minute. Or to open and it would be really annoying 30 seconds to a minute to open the app back up if you tap on stuff it's running really well it handles apps amazingly everything is running just perfectly flawless on this phone and later I'm gonna actually try to flash the soft keys on here so that I can have the soft keys on the bottom to use and I'll be showing you guys how to do that in a later video. So, thanks for watching. Hope you guys check this out. Feel free to like, subscribe. This is Oz from Double Double Gaming, signing out.